I have nothing. Actually, I covered it all in the, uh, you know, under old business. All right. And we have matters to be reported by the solicitor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I believe I covered the uh, different issues with regard to litigation uh, in the executive session, so I have nothing else. Okay, and now we're bringing back to the council matters to be presented by the council. Lou, we start over there with you. I'm at this one. I'll go back over to Dwayne. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to, uh, Carolyn, first of all, I apologize uh, for my bickering. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're, you're right. Uh, we should be a little bit more professional up here, and, uh, and uh, I will do my best uh, to maintain that level of professionalism that you're you're accustomed to. Uh, and uh, I apologize. And as as far as everybody else goes, I I, I see the expressions on your face. Uh, obviously, I'm not a newcomer to Mount Holly and my involvement in Mount Holly. And when I see the expressions on your face when you feel as though it's a personal attack or I'm left out of something or not in the loop. Uh, I'm always, and as long as you're in this room, I always feel support from you. And, and if I have something to say to, the, to, these, to these other council members, I will say it. If there's nothing to be said, uh, I'm not going to say it. Um, but d don't... Don't feel as though uh, you know I'm not I'm not actively involved or uh, not working just as hard as I always have and always will. So uh, you know let's I'm just going to put that out there and then move some positive things. You know fire and ice nine o'clock in the morning. Well, first of all, <laughs> I. Uh, like to apologize to Johanna Keeley. Uh, we were out at a fundraiser for uh, St. Patrick's Day the night before, and uh, her husband and I were talking about the snow that was coming. And I remember uh, one year, fire and ice. I got up early, and he got up early. And we came downtown, and we got all the ice off of the sidewalks because there was a ton of ice on the sidewalks, and we were concerned about people tripping of those businesses that did, didn't get out there early enough. So I, I told him, I said, I'll meet you in the morning. I didn't get up, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to publicly acknowledge Carl for uh, getting up Saturday morning, coming downtown and those businesses that were not shoveled, uh, he shoveled. And uh, I think that was helpful before the feet got on it because when I got downtown and had to do my office in the front of my building, it was ice and it took a little longer to, uh, to get it shoveled. So I'm glad uh, <laughs> I'm glad he took it to heart and he got up and came down. And uh, Sorry he had to get up and do it by himself, but I was just tired. Uh, <coughs> and I'd like to acknowledge that he did that. I think that's, that's, that's ownership in your town. That's being uh, you know, proud of it and concerned about it at the same time. And I think that's really what makes our job easy up here is to know that people care about this town that much to do that. And I know he wasn't expecting us, and he'd probably yell at me when you go home and tell him I did that, because he's not that type of person. You wouldn't know Carl if you if you saw him on the street, because he is very, uh, but he does a lot behind the scenes like a lot of people do. 9.30 in the morning, I was scared to death. I didn't think we were going to have anybody in town at all. And so I, I left and went and got the oil changed in my truck, <laughs> came back, and I couldn't find a parking space. The town was packed, and uh, it was a wonderful day for ice. It was so cold, but uh, it, that is really what makes Mount Holly a good town: is that we can do those types of things, uh, you know, every other month, six, seven times a year, and it's done primarily volunteers. And then with the chief's magic, however, he works up the protection that we need or the coverage that we need with crossing guards and police officers. But it's it's a group of volunteers, Main Street, that put those events on and at, at no cost really to the township. And I think that's an incredible, incredible uh, statement that this, this town makes and the people in this town make. 
to, to continue those things. And that's proof positive that regardless of how many five of these people, uh, who these five are up here, that our residents care that much about this town to continue that because we've been doing it now for 15 plus years when we had the car show and things like that. And it's, it's always been volunteer driven and, and I just want to say thank you to all those volunteers every, all the time. And uh, they did a good job. So. And I hope everyone can make the workshops when we talk about these important issues and it's really not a structured meeting where you can have back and forth dialogue about pay to play and whatever else is on your mind. Because I think that's that's a good time for us to get some good dialogue going. So hopefully you can make it at the beginning of the month. And I encourage everyone to make it over to the Alps Wednesday night and let's get this business association back up and running and getting everybody communicating on the street. What I saw Saturday was that everywhere I went, there was, a, we were just, I think the town was unprepared for the amount of people, and because it was colder this year, they went inside. So all, every place was packed that I went to. Um, so I hope, uh, I hope we can get the businesses invigorated in this town and, and get moving. So there's a lot to say. Thank you for coming out tonight. And again, I apologize for uh, the bicker. Jason? Yeah, I have a couple things. Um, I spoke with a couple board members on the Patriots uh, football program. Um, they want to come and talk with us. They, they are looking to try to bring the organization back into the town. Currently, they are residing in West Hampton, but they uh, have a lot of, of our youth that play for them and that are having trouble to get to the games out there. So they want to try to utilize the fields again. So um, also they they want to speak about the the building that they currently pay the utilities on. From what they say, that the building's falling apart. So it, it, does, it needs a new roof. Uh, yeah, that was and, reported and a couple of years ago. Or, yeah. They said that there they said that there was a lease. Uh, I mean, you're going back when Dickie Powell ran the organization, so <laughs> you're going back probably thirty some years. Um, so, but they, uh, they see that they, uh, they should be back in this town and they want to move back into the town. So, um, they, they want to come in and speak with us. Uh, second, uh, last meeting we had an appointment for planning board for the class three position. I was nominated by that, for that position. I was, uh, appointed to that position, but... I am not allowed to serve on that position because it was appointed in, to Mr. Belton in uh, June of last year. So he has a full year. So his, his term would not be up until July. I feel that the public should be notified that. I feel that uh, the solicitor at the planning board meeting should have uh, stated that to the public that was there. Because I was questioned by people at the public that why wasn't I present because I was nominated and appointed to that position. I also feel, this is my personal belief, that I felt that Mr. Belton should not have sat in that meeting until the public was notified the proper way. We just sat here and talked about how we need to respect the residents in this town. And if we're giving them misguided information on who's actually serving on boards, they should be notified before the meeting. Other than that, that's all I have for tonight. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I have a quick scratch list here that I wrote down while listening to all the prior comments. Uh, first thing I just, again, I want to kind of uh, reflect on what's been said in general and let everyone know that Professionalism here up in the council must be maintained at all times. And we all have to remember that uh, we are all human and sometimes things need to be said that shouldn't be said. And, uh, you know, moving forward as a collective of uh, all five of us, we'll make sure that that is done right uh, moving forward. So let's put 
this meeting behind us and move forward at the next one, which is the work session on a new day, just turn a new leaf and move forward with that. I appreciate your comment with that. Like I said last meeting, again, please invite all of your neighbors to the upcoming work sessions, meetings. We want you guys to be involved, okay? Uh, your input is important. Everything that you say to us is taken back as, as critical feedback on possibilities of what we can do here in the township to improve the township. And without your input and your neighbors' inputs and their neighbors' inputs, we are at a loss because we can't go around and knock on all the doors all the time and find out. We need your input. We need to know what's going on uh, in your minds, and uh, that's what I have on that topic. Fire and ice. I went. It was great. It was cold. I think a good precursor was the snow we had the day before. It kind of set the mood up pretty perfect. Fire and ice. Yeah, you know, thankfully it was a light snow. There wasn't too much going on, but it really, it really set it up that it was nice to go in there. See some of the snow on the ground with the ice. Last thing I wasn't mentioned. Uh, it's kind of going on Facebook. The uh, recreation uh, trust here in the township is doing a 5K coming up the same day as St. Patrick's Day Parade in Burlington County. Uh, this particular 5K is raising funds for the recreation department here in the township to try to increase um, what we can do for the youths, uh, our parks, everything that we have here regarding recreation. It's been neglected over the years, and now it's time that we ramp this up and, and correct it. And the first uh, fundraiser is going to be this 5K. A couple of things, uh, you can go to mtholly5k.com it gives you information on it. You can register online, or you can print the PDF and mail it to the PO box. Also, um, just so you know, the run slash walk, family walk starts at 11 a.m. The parade starts at 1 p.m., so it's a precursor to the parade. And everyone that registers uh, gets a free t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt um, for the race, as well as a free after race drink at Ox. So go ahead and then you know, sign up, help support this recreation department here. We need everyone's support to do this. Uh, talk to your neighbors, friends, <coughs> spread the word. Um, and uh, that's all I have. Thank you for coming out tonight. We appreciate your time again. And uh, as always, I'm available all the time. Uh, I listed my uh, cell phone, uh, despite some recommendations on the new council cards that I got. And it's there for a purpose. I'm available. Please call me. Let me know what your concerns are. And uh, I'll be more than happy to field them and answer them for you. Thank you. Well, on reflection, if I, I was out of line and I hurt anybody's feelings, I will apologize for that. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm a guy where the buck stops right here. I don't have a lot of fancy language and dodging and weaving or any of that. The question was asked where it came from. I answered the question. It had to go long. So be it. It's irrelevant if I asked opinions or took a vote or anything like that, because the bottom line is, is that it was my call. And that's the way it is. So if, if, if that direct, uh, you know, Buck stops here uh, surprises you, then you guys haven't been paying attention because that's just the way you know the way I've always been. Uh, I'm doing the best I can. I'm real mindful, you know, people's feelings and, and their points of view. I carry the weight since I've got elected of you guys on my back all the time. I haven't had one fight since I've been elected. I've put up with a lot of crap where I normally would have never put up with it. And, and that's, uh, that's, you know, uh, that's how serious I take this thing. You know, if, if something's going on, I always weigh you guys in. You know, well, wait a second, you know, I can't get involved in that. You know, even, the, even if it needs to be cleaned up, it, it, I can't get involved with that. It may look bad for the, for the town, you know. Um, even when I was in my union activities, when we were on strike uh, a couple of summers back, I had to make it clear to the guys that I was on the line with that the behavior of that line had to stay respectable and honorable, that I could not partake 
and any of the old classes.